back to the savage nation home of God, faith, and reason, which will be in bookstores next uh, Tuesday. The real God, not the killing God. The God of peace, the God of love. The God that we all seek. Not the God that the Salafis seek. The God which says you can kill children, the God that says all opposition to Salafism are all soldiers. No, not that God, the real God, God, Faith and Reason by Michael Savage. WABC, Muhammad, line nine, what's on your mind? Muhammad, go ahead, please. Yeah, M Michael, I'm very, uh, I'm very disturbed by the emotional reaction and jumping to conclusions that's taking place. Um, well, excuse, excuse me, wait a minute. What, what emotional reactions? What should we be cool and calm about another Islamo-fascist attack? Well, you know, we have we have to understand. We just can't we, we can't just jump to. Well, what, what must we understand that we don't understand that the dead people don't understand and their grieving families don't understand that the amputees don't understand? What don't we understand, Mohammed? Well, I think one of the questions we ha we have to ask ourselves is why this is happening. And I think I think. Oh, I see. It's because we did something bad. All those bicyclists and walkers were evil. Is that it? Well, I, I didn't say that. All I'm saying is that. You know, there, there's Christianity and Judaism in this in this country. Their religion has been accepted. The one religion that hasn't been accepted is Islam. And well, then therefore kill more people, then then it will be accepted. Run over more people. Is that what you're saying? No, I, I think that's what you're saying. What I, what I'm no, saying. No, you're saying what? Run over more people, and then we'll accept Islam. What I'm saying is, people know of of, of Christmas. They know of Hanukkah. Do they really know about the Muslim religion? I mean, I, I don't want to know about the Muslim religion. How about that? I've had enough of it. Well, then you're going to then Muslims will be dissociated from the culture. And this is what will happen. Oh, I see. Because they're outcasts. That's why they kill. Well, I, you mean when all Americans get down on their hands and knees and pray to Allah, then you might stop killing us. What I'm saying is we need to. Well, what are you saying? Every time I catch you. In one of your logical uh, uh, flaws, you, you say what I'm saying. What are you saying? Well, I, what I'm saying is the Muslim, the Muslim culture, the Muslim religion has certain values. There are certain things in their religion that I think Americans have not accepted. They have not recognized, and I think that leaves them dissociated from from the from the culture. And so, How, why are you justifying the terrorist attack that just occurred? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No. I, I'm not. I'm not justifying this attack. I, I did not say that. I, what I'm saying is the emotion. The man himself said he did it in the name of Islam. You're saying he didn't. Well, who should I believe, him or you? What? Well, what, 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 he says he did it in the name of Islam. I, I, you know, we we can we we cannot we can't argue that point because he said it. I'm not saying that. But he said it. What I'm well, that's what I'm saying. He said he did it in the name of Islam. So how is it that he gets this outmoded? Seventh-century view of Islam. Where did he get it from? Well, it's not, that, it's not where did he get it from. It's his interpretation. He has a more strict interpretation. Some Christians have a more strict interpretation. No, no, no. Don't jump in Christians, please. Don't, don't jump. Don't bundle to make your stupid <laughs> argument. It was not a Christian who ran people over yesterday. I've heard this argument before, and I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. This is a false argument to keep saying that what happened in Las Vegas was done by a Christian. First of all, what happened in Las Vegas, if that man did it alone, was not done in the name of his God. Do you know that? I, I didn't say he did it in the name of God. All right, so just don't lump the two together and suddenly say Christians do it too. I think what you Muslims must do is have a soul searching and understand that Donald Trump is the only man who's come along who can save us from those amongst you in your group who will kill you and everyone else around them. Mohammed, I assume you're not a terrorist. I mean, is that a, a rational assumption? I, I, I'm not a terrorist, and I do realize that... So why is it, as a modern man who practices Islam, you are so defensive about those who are throwbacks, who practice a 7th century uh, view of uh, Islam? Why would you defend that? I, I, I'm not defending the more orthodox... Well, thank you. I'm glad. Okay. <laughs> what we need to do is outlaw oh, yes, Salafism was. in the United States of America. Write it down. I just said it. See, freedom of religion is not a license to kill in the name of that religion. So you keep hearing the words. You don't know what they mean. This is talk radio. I realize it's not NPR with Vivaldi music. And I realize all of the very sophisticated people in America say things. Oh, I don't listen to AM radio. I only listen to NPR. Well, those of you who might be tuning in for the first time, let me give you a little lesson that you won't get from NPR or Wolf Flitzer, or Jake Tapper, or the other fellow travelers. 
I have said, and I'll say it again, there are a few sects of Islam, such as that practiced by the piece of human trash who did this yesterday, that must be illegal in the United, made illegal in the United States of America. Religious freedom is not a license to kill. And anyone who uses a religious sect to kill is not practicing a religion, they're practicing a death cult, and that death cult must be banished in America. Salafi, what is Salafi? You've heard about Salafi Islam. It's from the word Salaf, short for Salaf As-Sali, meaning righteous predecessors or pious ancestors. Uh, what Savage doesn't uh, realize is that uh, it's not Salafi Islam, it's Islam. It's any kind of Muslim who takes the Quran literally, uh, especially Quran 9, 111, 38, 39. Which threaten Muslims with a painful doom if they don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of Allah. You can ban Salafi Islam all you want, but there's, as long as Muslims, as long as Muslims believe in Quran 9, 111, 30, 39, you're gonna have something like Salafi Islam, and having people run over and whatever. But 